Welcome into this YouTube exclusive here on the Joel Klatt Show. We are presented by Hampton by Hilton. I want to talk about Jalen Milrow, the quarterback at Alabama. He's been playing so much better. It's a big reason why Alabama as a team has been developing into a team that a lot of people think can go and actually beat Georgia and maybe win the SEC and potentially get into the college football playoff. It all starts with their quarterback. It starts with the fact that he's making really good decisions and he's doing it in critical times. I want to go to the LSU game, and I'm going to show you what he did, and specifically on third down. Uh, Jalen made some great decisions, and what he was able to do is simplify things and really just lock in on what they were trying to do against him specifically. So here's the first one that I want to show you. It's third and eight, and LSU is going to blitz here, but watch as they're going to spy him as well. So as he's trying to leave the pocket, he thinks that there's a lane on that left side, he's also locating that there's a quarterback spy. So rather than just run into a tackle, he immediately looks for his check down. So he's utilizing his offense. This shows great development from Jalen Milrow, and he even doesn't have him right away. So the running back's not available just yet. So what does he have to do? Buy a little time, then flip the ball forward, and it's a conversion for the Crimson Tide. And by the way, an explosive play down that left side. Beautiful job right there. Okay, let's move on to the game. Now it's third and 11. Obvious passing situation. It's actually in the last two minutes before the half, so LSU drops into coverage. Their defensive ends do a really poor job getting upfield, and they leave rush lanes open for Milro to run. The coverage in the back end is good, but it's also soft without eyes on the quarterback. The lone linebacker left with eyes in the backfield is actually taking the running back, which allows the lane for Jalen Milrow. As soon as he recognizes that, watch the quick decision where he pulls the ball down and he runs. He knows he needs to stop the clock, and he's immediately out of bounds. Tremendous job recognizing the coverage. Later in the same drive, now it's third and nine. All right, again, another one of these obvious passing situations, and what do they do? Drop seven into coverage without a quarterback spy. So Milrow knows this, and he runs immediately. But now he sees an opportunity to put a defender in conflict. That's the corner out there on the left side. If he can make that corner think that the ball is going outside to his offensive player, guess what? It's going to open up this lane, which is exactly what happens. And then you see the athleticism and the speed and the burst from Jalen Milrow. He scores right before the half, and Alabama is feeling great at halftime. Now it's third and 10 later in the game. And now LSU is going to be trying to do something a little bit different. So what do they want to do? They want to try to bring some pressure. Well, the problem is, is that as they bluff the pressure, the def defensive ends again out of rush lanes way too high. And with the back of the defender pointed at Jalen Milrow and with no quarterback player, what does he do? He runs it right away. So you see a theme here. He's locating whether they're defending him or not. When they aren't, he runs it right away. But watch this. They're going to change coverage later. Now it's third and three. They've had it with him running for a first down. So what do they do? They bring in a linebacker to be a quarterback spy right off the bat. Milrow sees it. Look at his eyes. He's looking straight at the linebacker. So he just calmly says, okay, you want to defend me? I'll utilize my offense and the schematics to create a first down. He's got a slant to his short side, short side of the field. Watch him in rhythm. Just stand up. Boom. Right on the face. That's an easy conversion, and all he did was locate the defense. He's doing such a good job of this where you can't take away just him and you can't just go and take away the passing game. He'll make you wrong, and that's what great quarterbacks do is that they put defenders in conflict, they read what the defense gives, and then they take that. Last one I want to show you, and this is his development as a passer. So in this one, it's going to be a third down and three, and he's got a wheel route out to the outside. But watch what he does. He simplifies his own offense, and he understands that he's got one read, which is the corner. If the corner takes off deep, then he can throw the wheel route. So his eyes immediately go over there to the right side, and as soon as the cornerback flips his hips and starts running backwards, Milrow knows that he can throw the swing route. He's not worried about the man defender because that swing route should take care of it. So now it's about leverage and touch, which he does a beautiful job. Look at that, layering it right over the defense, and it's another big play. So it's not just his legs, and it's not just if they have a spy or not, but it's also the nuances of the passing game that he continues to get better and better at as the season goes on. That's why.
people are talking about Alabama the way that they are. That's why they think that they can challenge and potentially beat Georgia. And that's why people are talking about Alabama as being a team that has a real shot at the college football playoff. Thank you for watching the Joel Class Show YouTube channel. And if you like this clip, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And you can stay up to date on all of my college football coverage.